Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today I'm carrying on with the Rogue Trader. I assumed that we just run straight back to the ship and I could just carry on exploring space, um, but actually trying to leave... Uh, I can't even remember her name, I don't care. Evil Lady! Leaving Evil Lady's palace. Um, we've just bumped into Attilius Quint here. I assume at some point we're going to say, uh, why don't you have the job? You seem on the up and up. Even though... I don't know, I, I can't think of a candidate, really. To, to run this place, but I assume we're going to be, um, we're going to get given, given an option. So we'll see. Uh, the secretary's shaking in terror, looking at the devastation. Your ladyship, what happened? Where is Lady Viad? That's her name. Uh, the secretary stares at Erliot in horror. His face twists, twists, but he cannot seem to get out a single word. He's been executed as a traitor to the Imperium. Her accomplices must be found and put to death immediately. Uh, tragically perished at the hands of perfidious traitors to the Imperium who infiltrated her inner circle. She must be avenged, hunt down, execute the conspirators. Uh, do not ask questions. That's actually an interesting one. That is actually an interesting one, because he's the logistics boy. He writes down everything. I say logistics, the, the records boy. If he's going to write down literally everything, I don't want it to be known that the governor of this place had fallen to chaos. Because if that's the case, and word gets out through official channels to some other zealous, you know, Imperial Navy or, you know, officer or some other nonsense, this planet's doomed forever. Uh, or, you know, like the Winter Scales will use that as a, an excuse to, like, rent power from me in other places or, like, whatever. There's, there's going to be people who can use it politically. So simply saying, oh, she's died, but I've got a handle on it. Everything's, you know, we're getting rid of all of them. Don't worry. This place was never run under <laughs> under the control of Chaos Forces. Everything is fine here. Then that stops the entire planet getting genocided. So I, I think probably good just to lie, actually. And I, I like that they've given us the option. That shows a, a certain degree of nuance and, and you know, awareness of the situation. So I enjoy that. The governor, killed by heretics. Major protective sign of himself. Good God, Emperor, protect us. We'll soon root out those responsible. Because he spends a lot of time not here, doesn't he? And he gets the, a flight back and forth. I think. Is he one who... Has only been here a little while? I can't remember. Secretary begins to speak, but thinks better of it. Instead, choosing to step aside and bow his head. All right, then. So who are we going to install... Because I I have no I idea. Is it just going to assume? Is it just going to pretend like that's not a thing? Because honestly, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm I'm actually fine if they just breeze over it completely, and it's understood Always that like, on the prize. you know, we will have installed someone capable. You know, just assume that I'm fine with that. That we assume someone who who shares our. Um, I don't know, our vision of how things should be run. I'm, I'm happy for them just to breeze over, trying to, like, explicitly root out, like, a particular person and choose a value set and, like, all that stuff just feels like admin that would probably be done, you know, off-screen between episodes, if you know what I mean. So, like, I, I kind of like the idea of them breezing over it and just assuming that someone else will be in charge at some point. Uh, okay. We now have control over the granaries of Janus. Uh, the promise of help given to the leader of Footfall, Vladim Dakara, can now be fulfilled should the rogue trader so desire. Uh, wait, what? Well, thanks for... Yeah, thanks, thanks for explaining what this means. That's great. Love that. Real cool. Alright, send provisions to Fulfall, giving its inhabitants new hope, and asserting their right to rule over the station. Absolutely fine. But what... The Cordo and another clan, right? Was this was this the one where they're like, oh, we'll take it over? That seemed to me like they were running like a, 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 a racket. How is that dogmatic? It... Yeah, obviously I'm just going to send it. It's fine. Completely fine. Profit factor gained? Five. Nice. Iconic class, plus 15, sure. Uh, the inhabitants of Football Station will praise the rogue trader who spared them the painful choice between starvation succumbing to the reign of Incendia Corda. Yeah, okay. 
that one slight conversation we had before they got gunned down and we did a battle, so okay. Don't feel like we explored the ins and outs of that situation, but sure. Um, that would have actually been really good if we'd had a conversation with our, um, like our Logisticar or whatever, he was. The, the, the random snooty merchant guy who's on our ship. I think that would have been a cool way to introduce him into the equation, because we don't get to talk to him much. But I think that would make sense. He is in charge of that stuff, right? Procurement and all the rest of it. So talking to him about the ramifications of that choice ahead of making that decision would have been good. As opposed to this, which was bad. Because make a decision based on information that you got weeks ago, <laughs> you know? Or not weeks, but like 30 hours of game time previous. Uh, maybe not 30, but like a long time. So... To welcome the new rogue trader, the Adeptus Mechanicus's planetary office brought to the ship an offering of several versatile macro combines, ancient machines whose carcasses have been found on Janus and carefully restored. The sacred steel titans will serve to uh, serve the Von Valantius dynasty. So we have some more extractiums, which is lovely. Now let's build new things. So, um... God, trying to work out what all this stuff is is going to be a pain, but, um... Whatever, it's fine. Chem princes. Many planetary aristocrats have strained, uh, have stained themselves with incompetence and lost their titles. A new nobility of chem princes will be created out of subjects who prove capable in sciences and governance. Okay, so this is where we are um, implementing new government as, as part of a colony project. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I, I like that. That's, that's fun, building it into this system. So, a new nobility of Kemperins will be created out of subjects who prove capable in sciences and governance. Those who succeed in wisely managing their agri-complex fiefs, strictly maintaining obedience among the commoners, and increasing the output of rare organic chemicals, will keep their positions. Ultra Requisitors. Ultra Requisitors. In the days of the mutiny, many among Janus's pampered nobility fled the planet. They are to be replaced with more enterprising servants, a small but ambitious ultraquisitor syndicate belonging to the Casabalica. Uh, Casabalica mission has contacted the rogue trader with a lowly request to entrust the governor to Janus to them, with Vladim Takara pushing all of his competitors out of the cold trade. The ultraquisitors are hoping to change their line of business and become dignified aristocrats serving House von Valencius. That actually sounds like quite a cool uh, sort of angle for diplomacy. Because it's sort of, okay, we give more power over Janus to um, Vladim Takara, you know, people associated with Footfall, allowing them to become lords in their own right, but under, you know, my... Uh, uh, hierarchy, you know, under my, like, whatever... Uh, dynasty, right? So it gives them more authority and more power, but only in so much as that it's under me, which I think is kind of cool. Um, that's that's an interesting angle, and that feels like absolutely the sort of thing that um, people try and angle for in that situation. And it's not necessarily a bad thing um, that we have people who aren't nobility trying to run a place, but then it, I, 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 this... None of these seem to be moral decisions, really. Um, then, uh, Sophocracy. Janus is ailing, and who better to cure it? Then, the sage genitors of the Madros Biologus. Management of the agri complexes will be taken away from the aristocrats and handed over to the servants of the Omnissiah, who will synchronize their operations for the benefit of the planet. Uh, just coldly treating everything as a resource um, is something that. Both of these groups have in common. Uh, but no, it... Mm, I don't know. Just putting everything down to, like, a... A, a statistic, you know? It's, it's not a good thing for the people of the planet. But it'll be great for getting loads of... Well, provisions and stuff, but, like... Yeah, I don't know. I think this is an interesting one. I think Ultra Quisitors is, is an interesting one. Because I already know that they're fine with... Um, with Xenotech, right? So they're not going to be... You know, they're going to embrace the fact there's Xenotech there. We will get to Xenotech, but, like, they'll learn from it and we'll learn from it. And I think that's a good thing. So, yeah, the Chem Princes. I don't really know enough about Chem Princes themselves. But it's it's still just creating another nobility, a subject who proved capable. So that's... 
I, arguably a meritocracy, right? Is that not... We find subjects, if they're capable, they get to run things. That's a good thing, right? Tears of repentance. Okay, we get these consumables, apparently. Oh, and it replenishes up to five. Oh, that's good. I feel like this is how this stuff should work. Just across the board. Uh, that'll put up security. Chemicals and provisions. I don't know, I kind of like this idea, because this does... This does essentially give us a route to be in charge of football. Is what I feel. Like, I feel like, you know, long term, maybe not even in this game, but I, I feel like uh, empowering the people on the footfall. That place is basically a slum, right? So I think making that a wealthier place and, you know, d depending on where labor needs to go, allowing people to go from footfall to this planet and back and forth, like, I think it, it helps. Everyone's getting fed. And yeah, people are going to be trying to prove that they can they can be um, you know the nobility. I don't know if that's something you really want to push for, but I think there's a difference between being nobility and acting like nobility, if you know what I mean. And we'll also get star blight, which seems quite cool. Rate of fire is very slow though, but that might be a better sniper rifle for what's her face. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. Ultra ultra quizzes, I think, is an interesting one. I, I like the diplomatic angle, you know? Because I think we've already sort of embarrassed Vladim Takara. You know, I think we've already sort of put him in his place to an extent. He seems like a bit of a dick, but it doesn't mean that everyone there is. You know, maybe that's a mistake. Maybe I'm a genius. I don't know. But um, I think that's an interesting one. Okay, so how do I get the next things? Okay, there's contracts, but what? Are... Okay, apparently Caligo's winter scale. Bloody bloody bloody. How do I do these? Because it seems. Oh. How do I even get to that? I have no idea. That's a tutorial, apparently. It's equipment. Oh no, that's equipment. That's skills and stuff. Okay, there we go. So yeah, how do we unlock these next bits? Because, I mean, it's, it's like it says there's... Selling the forgiveness of the Ecclesiarchy can be a significant source of revenue. Okay, what does that mean? Like, how do I unlock these? What do I do with these? It says, yeah, contract available, but how do I get to the contract? Like, I, I don't have the foggiest. I have no idea. Yeah, whatever. Fine. We're going to go explore space. Um, space. Okay, so we need to find our other planets, don't we? And I, for the life of me, have no idea. I guess I'll just go north. Uh, I mean, this is where the winter scales hang out. But it doesn't. It doesn't say uh, Von Valencius's house anywhere. So I I don't know. What's supposed to be our realm? In what ballpark are we supposed to be exploring? I have no idea. Um, also, oh yeah, so you can see which ones you've scanned. Because they're not question marks anymore. So that's kind of an easy one. There's a few places we can still go to. Like, a lot of places to explore. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. Tranquility of the warp jump was disturbed by reports of frightening sounds and visions that descended upon the crew. Hundreds of people reported knocking and screaming behind the bulkheads of the void vessel. The sound of nails scratching against the hull and the elongated Eldari-like shadows thrashing about the long passageways. The phenomena were most prominent at the far corner of the officer deck where the new Lord Captain's companion named Erliet had made her home. The ship left the hostile Immaterium and returned to real space. It feels like she's getting haunted. Which is, uh, creepy. Boop. This is an uncharted system. That's why I'm here. Uh, Master Helmsman Ravor. Lord Captain, the Vox system's intercepted distress signal. 
coming from an Imperial vessel. The system contains a ship that belongs to the planetary fleet of Dargonus, the capital of Von Valantius dynasty. Transmission is repeated at regular intervals, but the message itself is corrupted. A cacophony of requests for help, groans and shouts. What in the world? It is your name that they are shouting, Lord Captain. That's strange, because they shouldn't know that we exist yet. Which makes me think that that isn't what it claims to be. So I'm going to go check out all the space dust. Love space dust. Can't get enough of it. Some delicious trophies. Num, 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 num. Delicious trophies. We're getting a lot of fuel. Yeah, I'll check that out too. But first, all the space dust. Love me some space dust. Alright, let's see this, then we'll check out the void ship last. Begin the scan. Uh, there's some plasteel. Four plasteel? That feels like a lot of plasteel. How much plasteel do we have? Get out of my way. Oh my god, go away, stop it. Okay, we actually have quite a lot of plasteel, but we can get more. We actually have six extractums. I thought we only had like three, so I don't know where we got the others from. But I will take it. I will take it. So do these, like, refresh when you land on a planet or something? I don't know. Maybe I got them in some other some other time and I just didn't notice. I don't know. So, the void ship. Let's scan it. Yeah, I, I know there's a void ship there. Um. Okay, who would be good for a void ship mission? I think we leave Heinrichs. I think we maybe bring Cassia. If there's a bunch of weird warp juju, she's probably going to be good at deciphering that. Though maybe Adira would too. It's a, it's a tough one. Although, arguably, bringing our navigator aboard a random ship is a terrible idea. But then, if if it blows up or we all get murdered, uh, who cares? I'll be dead, so I whatever. <laughs> the ship could rot in hell. It's fine. And we get to level her up. Yay! I <laughs> love it. Um, point of interest or combat tactics bonuses are increased. Okay. If the arrow is not moved. Okay, see, I never bothered to move those zones. Using a stratagem in, on a rear area also makes the allies in that area the enemy's lowest priority. Using a stratagem on the front line grants allies of the area extra dodge. Against other allies' attacks, that sounds very useful. Using a stratagem on a combat tactics area, grants all allies, plus three deflection against the next melee hit they suffer. That's kind of fun. Every time a combat tactics area is affected by stratagem, all allies gain plus one MP. Uh, if there are more enemies than allies in the frontline area, all allies gain extra... Okay, parry and dodge. If there are more allies, all allies gain damage bonus. I kind of like that. Are you suggesting frontline, maybe? Uh, all allies, including the Grand Strategist in the same combat tactics area with the Grand Strategist, gain extra perception and agility. I don't know. We'll go adjusting front line. That sounds like it could be fun. And then we get um, Taken Hold. Um, which, okay. Choose a tactics area and it does things to it. Fine. Grants additional AP. And then Intelligence or Fellowship. She is terrible at both of them. Really, really bad. Let's go with... I think a lot of her skills are based on fellowship, aren't they? I put up fellowship. Because, you know, she's learning how to be around people now that she's on our ship. Alright. Well, this all seems... The fall um... of Riker Minoris is a blow to all of the Expanse. I imagine Winterscale will be enraged when he finds out. This statement is false. The specified unit has experienced a long service life and observed many planetary catastrophes. Their statistical significance is negligible on a sectoral scale. The statement is tainted by the emotional burden of grief. Okay. Rise to the top. Nice one, Pascal. Or get left in the dust. That's why I didn't want to give the Oh, hello. Spitter mutant. Ooh, agile mutant. Mutate Enforcer. This is interesting. Bunch of mutants running around. Hang on a minute. 
Oh god, I I think I just realized what's happening. I think this is No, it can't mm, I don't know. Okay, this is a very Warhammer thing to happen. This could be our ship. I'm not even kidding, this could be our ship. Because, like, travel through the warp can do, like, time travel and all kinds of stupid stuff. There's a very silly story of an orc who went through the warp, accidentally got sent back in time, encountered himself prior to travelling through the warp, and then boarded it and killed the past version of himself so he could have two versions of his favourite gun. So, like, it's a thing that happens. I was covered in unpleasant-looking uh, growth scabs also. They look like fresh mutations. Sweetest smell coming from dead bodies seems. Beg for mercy, but I will grant none. Seems like something. Seems odd. Smell of blood has an unusual hue to it. But yeah, this could actually just be our ship, which is why people seem to. Um, that person seemed to recognize us. But, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But it could be that this is, you know, a ship that's passed through time, which is why they are aware of us somehow. This could be a horrible look into our future. Alright, so who goes first? Cassie's going first, apparently. Or am I just moving? No, I'm not moving Cassie right now. So yeah, Cassie's going first. That mutation enforcer and that spitter mutant are going next. Alright, I'm going to put you there. Um, Sorry, I wanted to put Cassie there, actually. I'm gonna put... I can't. Okay, but she can run there, so that's fine. I'll put Jai there, so she can shoot down that lot. Maybe. I mean, they'll have to run around. Oh, there's all them there. Mm. I don't know. Jai can sit there. That's fine. Pascal's going to go next. I'll keep him over here to deal with the agile mutant, I suppose. Is that worth doing? I might just let him come to me, actually. Uh, I'll put you over here for now. And then you. You are a problem. You are a problem. Okay, Jai. I am going to have to put in the firing line. You have to go there so you can do that thing where you pick a spot and stick you know, and stick there uh, Blanche um yeah, you can position over there too and then, who have we got left? I haven't decided on Avalon yet there's the Agile Mutant okay, I think a lot of these I can just sort of shoot as they turn up, I think all of these might come up this way actually yeah, alright, I'm going to put Avalon over there because the Agile Mutant will hopefully come for him, and then he can dispatch them and the rest. Alright, something like that will do then. So, I still have these as well, the Toxic Needle. Um, so that's Spitter Mutant. One, two, three, four. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. Excellent. Um, I need to pull these things. Okay, front line is um, <laughs> where our sniper is, apparently. All right, front line's going to be here. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Back line. We've got back line and rear, which, you know, I don't think they can overlap Do either. Not dare ask. Oh, I don't know. Back if line I could may. be there, I guess. That was stupid of me. And rear can be That is foolishness. Over Isn't here. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't care. <laughs> All right. Do I want to give an extra turn to someone like earlier to blast this jerk? Maybe. What was that one again? Overwhelming stratagem. Choose one. Oh, yeah. Uh, makes people overwhelmed, I guess. All attacks by allies in that area inflict overwhelmed. Okay, yeah, that's kind of nice. So we've got to overwhelm Me. everything. Yeah, so let's if do you that. Insist, Lord Captain. All right, then we're going to give... Isn't earlier this a job ago, for the uh, so she can shoot him. I understand your intent. Just because I can, you know. Now I think, because it's a spitter mutant, they're going to try and run away. So I'm going to get into melee with them. So hopefully, Emperor, okay. Well, us. they're not spitting at me, so that's probably a good thing. And yep, they're going for Avalard, who is not parrying very well. Oh, there we go. Speak of the devil. Okay, Jai. Um, do I give Cassie another go? Maybe. 
Am I getting let's paid give, for Let's this? give Joe an earlier go, rather. I am not your Xenos pet. There we go. I, just, I don't want Chaos to be bogged down in combat like that, you know? Now, if I run to here, I should be able to shoot across there. I know what I'm doing. I hope. Usually. Okay, that'll do. Nice. But unfortunately, that didn't do as much as I would have liked. So, let's use... Oh, I don't know. Voice of command on um, earlier. Sure. Okay, now Pascal. Get him over here. Oh, I can't use the melter gun from that distance. I know we're abandoning this, you know, place that we decided was our front line very quickly, but it is what it is. Let's start claiming these as bounties, shall we? Yeah, these are all... These are all that. Good lad. Uh, let's analyze that guy as well, I suppose. Let's use this. Uh, yeah, there we go. So Blanche and Jai can make use of the reduced recoil. And we'll blast them. And that's that. Okay, they can attack. Really? That's a thing. You can. Alright, I find it odd that you can do a melee attack via that. That's. Just a bit silly. But sure. Oh, I can't mutant. God damn it. It's annoying. At least we didn't stay down. Okay, a lot of mutants. Oh dear. Well, Jai's a bit screwed, isn't she? Because she got kicked, like... Like, how, how does a guy kick? Three feet above his own head. Like... <sighs> so annoying. Okay, so we want to use a uh, perfect spot. If I must. It's actually a first turn. She's already shot twice. Uh, analyze enemies. Oh, I don't know. I kind of need to get rid of these spitter aliens, don't I? Spitter mutants, rather. They're the real problems. Possibly. This tedium is beneath me. Okay, let's use. Aim for opening. If it serves your cause. Well, that I didn't really. I understand your intent. All right, blast him. If I must. That didn't get the kill. Well, damn. All right then. Frustrating. Let's go with. Uh, I can use daring breach now and just start chopping. Do you want to do that now? For Might as well. Valencius. Might as well. So, if I use Power Swing, I can hit them both, but I guess just hitting them individually does the job, doesn't it? He parried? Really? I had 84% chance uh, to hit that. Now, it does take into account parry, as far as I'm aware. Well Indeed. I took care of this okay, one. good. Good, good, good. Now, let's see. I only have one AP left. Which is a bit Tried rubbish. I guess I'll just walk the here. Ones. Nice. Alright, that'll do. Now, Blanche... Um, not really sure what to do with them. If I... Okay, I can't use it on though, simply. But can't do that. Alright, let's use Pascal. Um... Yeah, I think just doing some damage to this chump sounds useful. Okay, good. Now... I mean, I would love just to flip and blast them, but like, probably not wise, but probably, the kind of damage I do to my own, my own folks, uh, let's use, I mean, at all costs, sure. Me. Tempted to like, move here and just shoot across this way. Taking let's see how it goes. Is my second nature. Oh, flipping egg, I didn't realise we'd get hit there, that's annoying. Um, Press the advantage. And yeah, I'll just start blasting at this guy. 
I know I won't hit him. I'll, see I'll you hit this personally. guy. But does go through. And air of authority on, on Elliot. Alright, I have put her in a bit of an iffy spot there. So the spontaneous mutation, I guess, gives benefits for the Is that my price of... I oh my god, Jai. Really? Yeah, it probably lost Jai again. Very annoying. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, they managed to get in there pretty well. Agile Mutant's doing more damage to itself. Oh, then healing itself. Interesting. Okay, a lot of this stuff is very injured. So, yeah, running in here and giving them all the, the crazy eye. Might be a good shout, to be honest. Although, we can get all these guys to move closer together, which I enjoy. Uh, no, because that's one, two, and that'll be one, two, three, so that won't quite work. But I can get both these guys to move off this way. So that's Emperor, what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to move right down here. And yeah, I'll get if both I these guys to run that way. And then I'm going to use Lidless Stare. Ah, oh, I can hit three of them. That will kill two, though. Which, honestly, not awful. Did that do nothing? I think that did nothing. So that's cool. Uh, okay, I can only shoot this way, but... And I will hit Cassia there because of this daft system. All right, just, just shoot. Yeah, that's fine. A fool, a fool, Cassia, a fool. So I don't know why Lidler Stare did nothing. Never seems to really explain. All right, so Jai got up. Proud of it. Um. Someone's make several attacks, number of attacks equal to the number of prey in combat. Divide among all prey, line of sight. So, I mean, who would that hit? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Who? How do I even activate it? I have no idea. Yeah, I think maybe we just attack him. So, let's analyze him. Kill him. Nice. And that'll have to do. Although, actually, to dismantling attack, I guess I could... Nope, like, no chance of hitting him. With my secondary. I think that might just have to do. Um... I can expose weakness. It removes exploits. So yeah, it's pointless. Okay, uh... I'll use precise attack, so I can use that next turn. That's fine. Okay, you move up. Ah, crap! Really? Temporary setback. Yeah, there goes Jai. Bloody throne. Right. I was thinking. Right, I get more dodges. Okay, twenty-three damage. Great. Abelard reached him in the other way. Because, like, they all ran that way. Oh, that was on the floor. Uh, For God's sake. Setback. It's not a minor setback. You've lost a turn. Alright, analyze enemies. This jerk. Let's just wipe them out. Um, we've already got perfect spot. Let's I am not expose another. Nice. This tedium is Let's do that. Me. Let's do this one. If I must. Um and all right. I am not your Xenos pet. Brilliant. That's what I like to see. Now Abelard can do nothing. Uh let's give I'll Pascal a go. I think his um Ooh, yeah, that works. Yeah, this is a nice idea. I like that. Let's use Alright, so who are we gonna kill if we do that? Well, we're going to kill him. Could do some damage to him. So let's try and get more by analyzing first. And I guess I'll use precise attack just in case he's um, technically getting cover there. And that used all the AP. Because it's not actually a full turn. Okay, I'm an idiot. So let's give him a full turn. 
I just you feel honored to witness this. Brilliant. Now let's also analyze uh yeah, that guy as well. Request. Yeah, bonus Request. damage on him as well. And we can then give this uh, to someone else as well. Okay, so I could do that. So I get more damage in. I don't think so. Don't think I have a way to get extra damage in, but we'll, we'll do that. That's a good hit. Did nothing to that guy. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, let's move up here. And then give... I think we'll give Cassia the turn, because I can't give it to anyone else. Running by Neric override. Okay, good. Now, little step. Is this going to work this time? Or... Alright, so little step is going to cost us two. This could also be quite useful, though. So that would be one, two, three. One, two, three. But then that would be one, two, three. So I won't be able to get him to move. I could get him to move the bird. I don't know how useful that would be. I wonder if I do that and then shoot or something. Yeah, Lidler Stair might just be better. So we'll do it. Okay, and it worked that time. Good. Uh, I just got some extra movement. Oh, and I can still use this. I still have the AP. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, he's dead now, so now I just need to split the difference with these two, which might be more difficult, actually. Well, one, two, three. But then one, two, three, four. So that, yeah, they're... If they're a couple apart, then that'd be fine, but they're not. So that's annoying. Um, yeah, I don't think I can pick a spot between these two, but I can probably kill him. Two. One, two, three, four. Me? If you insist, oh, Lord he Hampton. decided to go instead. Because he was closer. But not in terms of the movement gone. And that is something we've actually done before. Where they had to take a long way around. So they just didn't move at all. So I don't know why the hell he moved. Okay, that's annoying. And confusing. So, hooray. I'm ready right, for let's move here. Comes. We're going to take a huge amount of damage here, aren't we? If I decide to shoot through that. So yeah, we need to use the sword, sadly. Which is not going to do much at all. Basically does nothing. How does this guy take no damage? He's have a lot of armor. He has a huge amount of armor. I see. Alright, in that case. Um, Air of Authority on Cassie. Alright, let's put our bonus damage on. Now let's use extra damage plasma shot. On it. And we missed. And he dodged. Frustrating. Oh, we probably lost Blanche. Well, Parry's good. Parry's good. Okay, Cassia. Brilliant. Uh, that'll do. Perfect. Alright, let's move up. And use Lidler Isn't this a giant foe? Perfect. Black. Thank you, Cassia. That damaged everybody. Uh, could you find us tower again? Give earlier like a bunch of attacks. In fact, I can use this again. Two, three, four. Don't I go there? Sure, why not? If you insist, Lord Captain. <laughs> I can even shoot him again. I'm not accustomed to being yeah. ordered around. All right, find Stow. In go the on name earlier. of House Orcelio, I shall prevail. Hey, for an opening. Okay, good. Uh, now I guess I just keep blasting, right? Uh, would analyze enemies help? I think only for the first attack. Though I can just kill it in one hit, so I guess I will. I am not your Xenos I deal death Good. with my hands. Because it was uh, Pascal's exploits they were able to take advantage of. And now I can get some exploits on them. Your intent. Good. And uh if blast it serves them. your cause. There we go. And that's Cassia done. <sighs> Still just getting well done. Okay, that's annoying. Who's next? Pascal, my boy. Alright, let's get you up here. And you can, I guess, just start blasting, right? Well, I guess more exploits are always a good thing. So let's do that. Uh, let's also make sure his dodge is lowered. I think it lowers dodge, right? 
cover efficiency. Basically just cover efficiency. Alright, never mind. Whatever. Well, I guess I can't just do a single shot. Nope, I can't, apparently. Running by now. Cards. Not that thing, I suppose. Catch my breath. Now, aim for an opening. If I must. Alright, good enough. Give this me some exploits. Is beneath me. And then shoot them. Ancestors guide me! Ah, here we go. Alright. Knock him back. You didn't knock him back. That is sad. I'm sad I will now. Do my duty. All right, brace for impact on the good stuff. Okay, good. Although this gives us an extra attack, does it? That does actually give us an extra attack. Interesting. Now well, they parried it. That's fine. Uh, Blanche is fine. You just sit tight. Cass is fine. No point giving everyone turns. We'll just, you know, just do it if I can kill the guy. Request approved. Hey, nope, that didn't work either. I will not. Boom. Hear you move. There we go. No more. And now we're done. Pain and Let us not duty go hand in hand. Okay, one thing I need to check as well. Um, you. We have a new weapon for you, don't we? We have the. Uh, oh wait, it wasn't the Shuriken catapult, was it? These haven't been ordered properly. Or did we not get the thing? Oh, do we have to wait for the? Okay, so what I'm thinking of is we we got um, we picked the option for Janus that got us that new weapon. I think right. It was the one that was like Xenotech, like you know. I always have fine. a backup plan. They were fine with Xenotech, but I guess we don't get that yet. I don't know. Okay, so are we going to find out anything about this place? Diary, maybe? Nope. Uh, Staff of House Cassini. Okay. And a distraction cape. Cape lowers all enemies' perception, by the way, as fellowship bonus within a five cell radius. I mean, that seems fine, I guess. That seems okay. God Emperor, deliver us. Books and, books and items of luxury. The legality of some of them is questionable, but the Navis Nobilite often turns blind eye to such diversions. Okay, so is this a Navis Nobilite ship? God Emperor deliver Always us. Always keep your eye on the prize. Uh, oh, here we go. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. So where does this go? It goes to blackness. Okay, here we go. Break them around. Is this going to be our grave? Or something weird? Are we going to get involved at any point? Okay, they're all fine. Uh, the navigator's throne. The handles are extremely warm. Visible marks left by nails. Evidence. Evidence of the terrifying hour spent locked in battle with, uh, with the power of the warp. Alright, let's grab all their clothes. As one does. Keep your wits about you. Yeah, I'm going to grab all this too. Oh, no, they actually want to talk now. That makes sense. The leader of the Ravaged, ship, uh, ravaged Ship's crew wipes a sweat from his brow in a motion characteristic of navigators. Not with his whole hand, but with two fingers moving from left to right and back so as not to touch his third eye by accident. This movement is the, uh, is the only sign of fatigue. He allows himself. His posture is immaculate, shoulders wide, eyes front, as if he did not just emerge from a gruelling battle and is simply greeting you on the bridge of an une uh, uneventful day. My greetings, your ladyship. There is no need for introductions. I know the heirs of the Von Valentius line by sight. I am Han of House Cassini, the navigator on this vessel. And as the senior surviving officer, I assumed command after the incident. Lady Navigator, what an unexpected and pleasant meeting, considering the circumstances. I'm glad we actually brought the navigator with us for a ship that's full of navigators. That doesn't seem to be our ship or anything. I thought, I thought maybe, but nah. Uh, Han, uh... Decorously dips his head to Cassia. I have not had the honour of being personally acquainted with you, but of course I know the emblem of House Orselio. How fares the honourable regent? Cassia Orselio. She offers a reserve nod. Cordially will not uh, cordiality will not disguise the ice blue coldness of your words, Navigator Han. However, 
I will tell Regent Aranto that you inquired after his health. You may pass on my best wishes to Novator Cassini. And now let's set the pleasantries aside. What's a Novator? Patriarch or matriarch that rules over and navigate a house. Okay. Uh, we read that once before, but, you know. It's nice to nice to remind ourselves of these things. Uh, now let's set the pleasantries aside. I'm sure the rogue trader would like to ask you a few questions. As Hans speaks, others glare at you with dour attention. Others? You mean that guy? <laughs> okay. Uh... Up close, you can plainly see that every one of them is a mutant. Their faces and bodies bear the mark of incredibly grotesque deformities, the same as the muttering madmen who attacked you. However, Hans' associates seem perfectly clear-eyed, showing no signs of madness. <gasps> You've all been taken by chaos, death to the mutants, just ask what happened. The ship is assigned to the port of Dargonus. Some time ago, the captain was instructed to deliver a package, urgently, by hand, to you, your ladyship. We were even shown a picture of your face. The navigator's voice seems calm, yet there is a tension in his eyes, which are trained on you. The disaster struck during the warp jump. I will never know all the details, as I was preoccupied with my primary duties, but for some reason the captain decided to open the package. That, as you may have noticed, had a most destructive impact on the crew. Hand friends. The package contained a chaos artifact. A chaos bomb, if you will. The moment it was removed from its protective cocoon, the crew began to lose their mind and mutate. The first to be afflicted was the captain and the senior officers, but the effect spread with incredible speed. Every deck was consumed by it, every last one. The raging mutants, no longer sane, damaged many systems. The ship was in distress and would have almost certainly been destroyed had I not resorted to making an emergency exit from the warp. The people you see here are the only survivors, or rather the only ones who were able to retain both their lives and sanity. I gathered everyone I could, isolated the source of danger, and sent out a distress signal. We were adrift, waiting for help to come and fighting off mad crew members. Then you arrived. Interesting. So, um... It makes me wonder if, uh... What's his face? Uh, uh, uh... I forgot his name. The Spy Master. You know, the one that portrayed Thingamajig. Um... I wonder if that is the person who has managed to get through the warp in all of its wibbliness to our capital and start sending us, um... You know, bombs in the post. So the Chaos Bomb package was meant for me, who's the sender? As far as I'm a Voidveer, there we go. The order came from Conrad Voidveer. Thanks for reminding me, game. Master of Whispers of the Rogue Trader's retinue. It is likely that he arranged the delivery either personally or through intermediaries. Abelard's face turns a deep puce. That blasted traitor beat us to Dargonus and now is free to act with impunity. I would not it would not surprise me uh, to find out that this was the work of sorcery. How else could he have reached the world in such a short time? Sorcery, you know, it's whatever. Uh, hand pauses, then adds bluntly, almost brazenly, your reaction suggests that you were not expecting a package of this sort. That's good to know. I'd almost convinced myself that the rogue trader was deliberately collecting chaos artifacts. Don't you dare. Or, I am not tainted by chaos, I do nothing of this package. Uh, if there's a rogue trader not concern you, or attack, <laughs> you have dealt me a moral insult. Jesus Christ. Uh, you have my word as a rogue trader. That I'm not naughty. He gives you a searching look, then bows his head. I beg your pardon, your ladyship. I saw the terrible death of the entire crew with my own eyes. I was forced to bring this ship out of the warp by means of an emergency manoeuvre. Then I had to fight my former comrades, insane and twisted. I'm tired. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, mate. Um, however, the sender wanted all of this. Han makes a sweeping gesture of the destruction and the corpses of crew members around him. To happen to your ship, not ours. Uh, were you not affected by mutations? Well, that depends. I was born a mutant, you see. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Being a navigator, huh? Interesting. So, Han smiles grimly and warily. Navigators are taught to resist the influence of chaos. And so I have been, at, as best I could. But I will be frank with you. I cannot be certain that I have avoided it completely. There have been no visible indications, yet. Awareness has succeeded. All signs point to Han telling the truth, but you also notice clear evidence just how difficult it is from struggling against the corruption. He is extremely tired, practically exhausted. Where's the artifact now? Tension in his posture and gaze become even more noticeable. I have placed it inside a protective sarcophagus, more reliable than the previous repository. Unfortunately, an artifact as powerful as this one could not be destroyed under these circumstances, or rather, I had no assurances that it would not disintegrate every one of us and scatter us across several light hours of neighbouring space. But, once... We are off the ship. I will absolutely find a way to destroy this fire thing. Persuasion, trust me, I'll take the sarcophagus, holds the artifact. Uh, no. That sounds like a terrible idea. Although it is persuasion. 
and deliver it to those who can destroy it safely. That That is persuasion, not deception, you know, it is. That does show that that is what our intent actually is. Uh, I would still like to look at it. No, you wouldn't. Face it, Hunt Kasani, you can't leave the ship. Corruption and Chaos Bomb did afflict you, albeit not as strongly as the others, and you know this. I can tell by your reaction. Um, I don't know, we had awareness and he seemed that that wasn't the case. I don't know, I guess, I guess, yeah. As long as the sarcophagus does actually hold the chaos in it, then it should be safe to move. Yeah, I'll try. It failed. Trust the intended recipient of the down package? Rogue trader or no, you're asking too much of me. No, either I'll personally see the abomination destroyed, or I will not leave this ship. Why can't we just say, all right, like, okay, welcome aboard. Because, you know, you seem sincere in the fact that you haven't been affected. And uh, you can find out how to destroy it. Fine. Like, yeah, none of... Like, I'm okay with his plan. There's no option just be like, yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, I, no, I'd love you to destroy it. Please do. Uh, so why is this such a problem. I don't know. Fine. We'll say, oh, you seem silly. Does the rogue trader have so low opinion of Nobis Nobilite blood? If the corruption of the uh, Immaterium could so easily break our will and maim our soul, the Emperor would never have trusted us with our sacred duty. Navigator persuasion test succeeded. What persuasion test? What? Okay. All right, so the exhaustion, tension, the Han's pos uh, posture finally get the better of him. His head drops, and he rubs his forehead once more. I've been gazing into the eyes of the warp for as long as I can remember, yet I've never been so close to it. It's taken all my strength to keep it at bay, but for how much longer can I hold on? I don't want to go mad and become like the others. Uh, if you're a true son of the Novus Nobilite, you know what you must do. Don't let the corruption that has touched to marry your soul. Oh, I'd still like to take a look. Okay, this, I guess... Han grows pale, but raises his head. After a minute's pause, he says hoarsely, You're right, I've been struggling against the inevitable for too long. We gained conviction of faith effect, apparently. Grants 100% critical hit chance until the next... What? That's not permanent, then. Or the permanent. What? 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 How? What? So grants us a critical hit chance until the next critical hit scores. But it's permanent. Does that just mean that we get this one, like, a, as a one-time thing? Like, we have that permanently until it's used, and then... I don't know. I have no idea. Bang. He's abandoned us. Everybody has. You see fear and despair in the eyes of the mutants, now leaderless, shuddering. They reach for their weapons. Ah, oh, look at all of those mutants. Okay, why would we want to break open the artifact container? Why would we want to do that? But that's so silly. But now I really want to do it because we have the option. Grail <laughs> plus ten willpower. If the wearer has conviction, dogmatic. That's getting plus five fellowship. Okay, that's something we could equip. I think. Um. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, oh, no. That's just a plasma gun. Oh, it's a plasma gun rather than a plasma pistol. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, we'll take that. I'll give that to someone, probably. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh... Like, I don't I don't know what the plan is here. Do we just... Uh, are we gonna have an option to destroy it? We did, we did say, let us take it, and we'll find someone who can destroy it. But the only option we have is break it open. So if we just leave the ship, is it assumed that we're taking the sarcophagus with us? This whole thing has felt like like most of the branches of this quest were just never done. That's the impression I'm getting here. So I'm going to quick save it. All right. And I'm going to break it open. And if it's just, oh, there's chaos inside. You're all dead. Then, like, fine. We'll just load the save. Okay. But it could be because, like I said... It feels like there's a bunch of missing branches here. It could, like it could just be we didn't have a skill required to, so it didn't show the option for something else that would have given us more impact. I don't know, but it could be we click to break open the artifact container and it gives us a pop up, like you know, one of those storybook things 
and then we choose what should happen. Maybe. Take the artifact along the container, but we were going to take that so we could destroy it. That was a persuasion check. Not like deception, so it feels like that should have been honest, right? That we did want to take it to... Oh god, I have no idea. Containers covered in fine ornament of symbols along with the seal of the Navis Nobilite and the personal coat of arms of House Cassini stand out. The container is closed and sealed. The lock does not seem particularly tricky. I think if we leave this... Honestly, I think the, the best thing to do is just leave it. Alright, I don't think we'll get anything out of it, but I, whatever. Rise it makes sense if we just leave it. And get left in the dust. If the game doesn't give us the option, then let's just assume that we blast this ship to smithereens and, uh, you know, the warp drive exploding will wipe out the artifact and we don't have to care anymore. Oh, would you look at that? It got blown up. Yeah, it got all blown up, didn't it? Sure did. Yeah, that's how we did... That's how that ended. Yeah, having just, like, end things with head cannon is, um, a bit silly. Uh, scan is required. Sure is. Oh, let's chart new routes. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go, more directly there. And that actually gained us some more thingamajig. Wow, this is only a slight detour. Silence of Mer Sigrid. I'm not seeing anything else beyond that, so I don't know if we'll be able to actually, um... Oh, it's gonna be dangerous. Um... My apologies, Lord Captain. The Enforcer report that your pet Eldari is in a foul mood and is moving toward the Captain's Bridge. We didn't dare stop her, but I expect you have a difficult conversation ahead of you. Don't much like her being called a pet by people. Please Hello. spare me a brief moment of your time, Ellen Tark. Yeah, no worries. Herliot quietly appears beside the throne, exhausted. And anger set upon her brow. Azurion knows that I do not care about the curious glances of Monkey. I grew inured to them back in the blossoming gardens of the Lilithon. They curse me from afar. They follow my every move. They ward themselves against me. Let them. After all, what can be done with such weak minded primitive creatures? And still, one monkey stunt has caused the cup of my patience to spill over. She dared to approach me, to speak to me, and touching my hand, she, she suggested that we withdraw somewhere private. She wanted, wanted, Kay Morag. The mere memory of it stirs up a tempest in my soul. Now, oh, is this part of the whole, um, the Eldari's whole, like, uh, anti slanesh thing? Where just, just being hit on is just like, how dare you? I will not fall to Slanesh. Is that, is that how sort of Puritan they have to be? I guess so. Uh, are you truly so offended by it? Try to imagine, Elon Tark, being lusted after by a wild beast. It is... Disgusting. So vile that it makes your very soul shudder. Okay, so, uh, I mean, odd. So it's very strange, this particular brand of, of space racism, because she's basically saying to us that we're a wild beast. And that all of our kind are, and to be hit on by any of them is, is fucking revolting, and that it's disgusting to, you know, basically be in the same room. Just the, the sheer thought of uh, intimacy with anyone aboard this ship is, is completely revolting. It just feels a bit weird, right, to be, like, angry at this point and telling everyone how angry they are that someone found them attractive. Um, it's a bit weird, you know? Kind of, what do you want me to do about it? Like, I'm I'm a disgusting beast, apparently. Like, it, it doesn't feel like she's speaking to us on any terms that are, you know, remotely uh, on, like, an equal footing. Uh, which, yeah, fine. She clearly looks down on us as a race, which, um, well, that's not fine. That's terrible. But, like, 
it, we're trying to promote character growth here. Um, so anyway, I don't have a chance either then. Um, okay, the game's just going to be thirsty at times, apparently. Fraternized with Xenos, unspeakable heresy. Show me this mad woman uh, like I have behaved contemptibly. I apologise. I'm also repelled by thought of a human desiring an Eldari. I understand since it was unpleasant for you, but it does not mean all humans are animals. I don't think the point that she was making is the person was an animal for hitting on her. That just humans are animals, and if they weren't animals, then hitting on her would be fine. It seems to be the impression that I got from what she's saying. But I don't know, maybe, maybe not. You're an exotic animal to my people, get used to it. That Again, that's just a weird... Th Can we stop the space racism here? Uh, a few unwilling to become a wild animal or a docile pet. Jesus Christ. Dislike how people behave, try to spend time somewhere out of my way, just speak to my subjects, you'll not be bothered again. Yeah, just that. Like, just, yeah, don't... Don't try and hook up with the Eldari, she doesn't like it. You know, she doesn't have the same, um... Uh, uh... Doesn't have the same views as us on, on the subject of, um... Of hookups. So yeah, I'll talk to them. It's fine. Your words warm my soul. Very well. I will leave now. Do not forget your promise. <laughs> this is a ship-wide announcement. <laughs> it's just... Get... Alright, fine. What a, what a ridiculous event. Okay, so while we're here... It might be worth talking to some of the other characters, see if we can open up some additional quests. Um, get some extra character development, because I definitely want to learn more about Heinrichs. I, I'm intrigued by an Inquisitor who keeps being pragmatic rather than dogmatic. You know, in the actual sense of the words rather than in the weird way this game often uses it. So, you know, I think, I think that would be good. Uh, I want to talk to Argenta as well at some point, if you get some character development where she isn't a lunatic. That would be quite cool. Uh, Idira as well we can talk to her and she will be able to tell us more about her future which I think could be interesting and uh, get some nice little little puzzles out of her so yeah I think I think we'll try and talk to some people on the ship I think that'll be interesting so we'll we'll do that and then we can go try and find another one of our planets because I know the next episode we're probably just going to be going to random landmarks and things um, it'll be just general exploration, so it might be a lot of smaller events. So I think it'd be nice just to chat to some people, see if we can queue up some quests, you know, some companion quests, and, and see how that all goes. So guys, if you're enjoying this, then please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. I won't compromise my principles.